ultimately, because she's a very active person and she's very concerned about the environment especially, so she... Uh, Margaret had a little shop on the main street, a little, little antique shop, house antiques, and one day uh, a city councillor from from uh, Lewiston dropped in. Margaret always had a pot of coffee going and it was sort of a drop-in spot, really. But anyway, I can't remember her name. But, but she sat down and began to talk to Margaret and she said she couldn't understand why we were not upset. And, and uh, Margaret didn't know what the hell we'd be upset about, you know, if we had a happy life here. He says, well, don't you realize that Hooker Chemical is pumping noxious stuff into the Niagara River? And we're fighting like that, and we feel these people should be too. Well, we had, and then Joan, Joan was her name. And then uh, Joan took Marguerite on a tour of the chemical plants on the other side, so the river, where they're discharging into the river. Marguerite got incensed and got in that and started Operation Clean in the town, and that's where she got involved in the environment stuff. She was very good, very forceful, very good speaker, and she spread the message. She spoke to every every public school kid, I think, in the in the peninsula. She was constantly up talking to kids. Oh, we had a filtration plant down at you know where the pump house is now, where the art gallery is. Well, that was the filtration plant. They used to they used to take the water from the middle of the the river and sort of run it through a couple of tennis rackets. <laughs> In the right town, that's, that's where our drinking water came from. And it wasn't until they ran a water line down from DeCue Falls to, to Niagara Lake that we got water from outside the community. You know, we didn't know from contaminants. The water looked all right and didn't taste bad. It had a lot of chlorine in it, but our kids all learned to swim in the river. And uh, at the beginning of the year, they all came home with rashes and diarrhea and whatever, and then would just go away, I guess. They self-inoculated themselves. And the water looked good, you know. 